Late running rant. Yeah, late like running rant, guys. Wednesday here before the first at Canterbury. Joints collapsed. As usual, that brings the racing so popular because we're held together with plasticine, boys. Yes. Well, That's so right. is the racing industry. Look at this. This mm. monolith that um, it's such a great facility, the Canterbury Grandstand. And um, I, I, I got here a bit early for the show, Mark. I just thought because early, like, like, like completely empty, but not a banner anywhere to say racing here today at Canterbury, nothing being done. But why would there be? I suppose the agenda is to sell this joint eventually. Why would you like try to pump it up? Dance music on downstairs to keep us entertained while we're waiting. I remember Jesus. the barbecue, Glenn? Remember how on the Punter Show we, we visited the old barbecue? We did. It's not that long ago. It was only five years. There was a barbecue at the back. I, I, I had a two bone steak there for 20 years. Uh, when I was winning, and um, otherwise it's a you know dodgy hot dog. But um, mm. what a great, awesome facility this! It's so underused. It's like it's like we're sitting around looking at the Mona Lisa and it's about to be burnt or something. Yeah. It's so sad. Mm. Anyway, it's, isn't it just so beautiful? Like particularly when you're watching the races, because you can see the back Especially without get, without binoculars. And you know, you're like it's awesome. Yeah. And you're on a ten dollars yeah, 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 way, yeah, and they're taking off there, and they're slide can't miss a place. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what a track! Yeah, it's a great track. <laughs> awesome, awesome place, Canada. Mm. And the other uh, pl awesome place is Warwick Farm, and we'd be very sad if anything happened to Warwick Farm because it's been it's been given a lot of opportunity in the last couple of years since the demise of Kensington, and it's. It's a fertile place to play. Now, I know it's had, had its idiosyncrasies, and obviously you couldn't be on the inside there the, on Saturday, although Nat King Sue almost um, overcame that, the sitting box seating and coming off. Yeah. Um, but it was a, like it was a, a, apart from it being bitterly cold, mm. it was a great day's racing. And I, I know that racing. there will probably be people disaffected with that style of Saturday racing where it's not Rose Hill. Yeah, but, uh, yeah no, it's not Rose Hill. It's just, um, we've got a, quite a few sort of Wednesday-ish horses winning. Well, there that's, today, I think that's the yeah. nature of, if, 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 so, and, yeah. and if you run a meeting here, it'll be the same. Yeah. Mm. You know, or, or the, 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 the sick, listen, you got, mm. got your voice back, I'm about to lose mine. Gordo's just sick in the head of yeah. now, now, but um, aside from the, the way the track played, we saw a very interesting two-year-old race and this boom horse, awesome pluck. Uh, Ty England couldn't make the weight, Jay Collett took over. Is he a magnificent specimen? Is that what this is all about? Horse, a lovely horse, but you know, a beautiful, beautiful animal, big, strong thing, and uh, going forward, I expect a bright future for this horse. Okay, so uh, it's uh, should, it, should it proceed because it's in its first prep? Should it proceed at the moment, or should it, it should restart? Proceed. I'm a great believer in. You know, God help me if I'm ever a horse trainer, I'll be having seven starts a year, and be backed right. up twenty times, B and B and P cheers, look out. <laughs> exactly. I think racing horses is what horse racing is all about. I, I think everyone's But so you could get more. bullied if you get if you become a trainer. How am I going to get bullied? I suppose I could. I'm always getting bullied. <laughs> anyway, that's right. Okay. No, so I, think, I think so much racing day is about this most expensive, you know, eight hundred thousand, one point two million dollar stock that they don't want to over race them. But they they're, can't. They're, they're like they're cotton, they're wool. cotton wool. Yeah. yeah. I want to buy the twenty thousand dollar horse, send it around every week. You get paid two thousand dollars to one tenth in this race. Well, this horse can't, can't be a very expensive horse. I haven't checked it out, but he's by Pluck, which is, no, you know, they've been, yeah. been going around in the country. $20,000 horse. He's a real nice horse, and I expect a bright future. I thought it was a run. Right, so he beats those next time? I think so. Um, Brook Magic sort of went 1,000 to 1,200 and had the race shot to bits and then fell in a hole. Just found one. Uh, big load of Rob Fraser, who's in the ownership there of Brook Magic. Oh, it's Rob Magic. Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't Rob. Uh, um, and uh, then the filly, who was uh, only 24 on the fair, just kept bobbing manicure. manicure. Yeah, I had it, had it in one of my numbers, so I'm having something yep. on it. Again, 24s on the fair on Saturday did the job on a, best they bet was $16 in the ring, and the start before, best they bet in the ring was $9.50 at Canterbury, 18 and a half on the fair. Yeah. Right, it was like deja vu again. Yeah, it's, it's been a very yeah, kind horse to us, hasn't it, Gordon? Um, yeah, Louisa um, was had some interest in the betting. Glenn popped her off the inside to sit outside the lead. Super lead. above herself, Mark. He, he just completely forget the run. She was, so she had two starts at a thousand in her first preparation. She resumes at twelve hundred. And looks like only just been clipped. She was as soft as butter. Only just been clipped, which is a sign that they've only just come out of the paddock. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't believe the money for it. Um, plus, you toss in there. There's a chance you get bad Glenn. Easy to lay. Yeah, but but Gord, it's, it's your trials were it. very good, weren't they? The yeah, trials I like obviously the trials didn't indicate and, um, against good quality horses as well. Looked to me like she was ready off the eye from the trials. Yeah. But but yeah, Glenn mentioned it to me and a few others that she just 
look it's fat. A, it's probably, fat, just you, fat know, you really or? need the mounting yard, don't just you? everything. Everything, yeah. Everything How can you, you do know. without the mounting yard in those situations? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't breathe. Well, it, saved, it saved me money, because that was one I was really looking to have a go at. But the and, more money yeah. you win, the more money I can buy you for. Race two, Phillies and Mares race, which was uh, a bit pedestrian, except for the fact that um, uh, Brown got browned. Uh, n never ever saw a run on philosophy, which I guess was always some hope from gate two. Well, it's a beautiful example of the track. Now, this horse loves a fantasy. Obviously, I didn't have it in my first four tips. I paraded really well. You can't tip them all. Blah, blah, blah. I, you know, do my work of the morning. And I was going in my 14s and my 25s and my 14s and my 25s. Yeah, 14s, a little feel for this horse. 10s. You were 10s? Yeah, but you come to the track, Sandra Damore, $41. And Even if you're not betting big, how easy is it to have 2,050 yeah. or 820? And unfortunately, it's also easy not to. Exactly. Mm. But I'm just saying that, 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 that there's another example of, wow, they, they, you hate the horse, your 25s. You hate it, your 25s. You can never be 41s. So got the job done. What were the market moves on philosophy? It, it blew, didn't it? It, was it blew. It, yeah, yeah it, it pretty much, it got to $5 at the death yeah. uh, on the fair. Look over there, guys. There's a bloke, bloke riding on, the on the course riding a bike. And it's not a mountain bike either. No, it's a road bike. He's riding along on a road bike. <laughs> near yeah, no, but there's, a, there's a road on the outside there. Oh. There's oh, no, okay. It's not grass. Uh, you think it's a fucking It looked like it was in, in grass. But it's not salt anywhere. I'm going to blow on a bike. <laughs> Is, is, have we all died and gone to... Is this heaven? I think so. I think so. Noir hit the wall at the end of her first preparation. I presume she'll be... Um... <clears throat> she better still... Look, she's a beautiful little horse, but she was... You know, she's... I feel like Wednesday horse, Wednesday horse going up to Saturday. Funny SP there, 340 once, no? <laughs> um, you know, the, staying, like, oh. the staying race was notable for everyone jumping up and down about collateral. Um, I watched the race a few times. I just don't think this is as bad as everyone thought. No, neither did I. No, no, it didn't. It, it didn't look like, like a hook job to me. No, no, no. It, it, just, like, it wasn't a good ride. Went but, back, you know, wasn't it? He's a kid. Tempo was. Da, 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 da. T. England had just ridden it perfectly. Yeah. I think the thing that I overlooked in that race was that. I thought Epsom Hill overachieved in the collateral race and a pearl that I've been yeah. focused on lately is if you see a horse do something that you really didn't expect, ran too well in a race, man, that's a pox on the form. It, it's, great. It's, it's great value for our customers here, or our uh, listeners, Mark, because that's exactly right. We've been going on about PRs and how important they are to dodge and uh, trying to uh, you know, educate everybody. It's slight adjustment to the pen job theory as well, in, uh, not in distance races. I don't think collateral was like untoward at all. I thought it was a poor ride, but you think about it, T Anglin on a PR hot ride, mm. and, and, and then you get a boy going back at Warwick Farm, makes it... Hey, I know, but we're all very excited about the way it is, you know, kept what, winning. I think what the, 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 the interesting part about it is fucking how does the fair know? Well, they, because, they they're, because, they're, because they're looking for yeah. these opportunities where, you know, people are not seeing behind as I didn't see behind in the relation to this horse. I mean, so I thought I saw enough saying, well, he, five to two, but... The synopsis, is that the right word? Of, uh, 200 minds is so much more valuable than your opinion. Is that the right word, synopsis? Collective consensus, users, yeah. consensus. I'm but, trying to get... But I, 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 think it's, I think there are two or three significant layers on the fair that are responsible for that kind of drift. <coughs> Can we right? beat them? Can we beat them? Well, yes, you can. Yeah, they'll, 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 they'll obviously try too hard too often. Do <clears throat> so you think the 590 is, is too extended an odds? Yes. And at that price, you win over a period of time? Yeah. A bit like Manicure in the first of 24. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Um, Blowers blow too much. Yeah. Great. Uh, Nothing like a good blowjob. Mm. Oh, look, I think no. the only things we, uh, um, out of that race, if you can take anything out of that race, is it'd be hard to want to back Saeed next start, wouldn't it? Sounds a PR. I hope we're not in trouble. Um, and. Mm. Um, then I thought El Novio was, you know, he, he, he could only win one race of prep, but he prepped nearly there. Is he a slug? And the gavel raced off, he had a month off. Month that was, that's, you know, that's just was, dumb, isn't it? Uh, you know, trainers, watch our show, we'll tell you to train trainers. The way you train them is you're racing. Uh, we then every, saw... You're racing every fortnight and you, you go up on the Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, they go after the spin thing. So how hard could it be? How could it be? Mm. You take them home, you hose them down, you give them a bit of food. Oh, I think the walk. problem is that they're yeah. animals, and so some of them, you know, they get sick or they have a runny nose, or you know, it's they're not machines. Possibly, 
But you know, know, I've got a bit. He's got a bit of swelling there. I better give him. Better give him the Tuesday, Tuesday off. Yeah. Yeah. Bit Thursday. of a sore throat, maybe, Mark. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, laryngitis. Yeah. Twelve hundred meter work on the Tuesday, and then Thursday prior to the start, eight hundred meter, hit it up a little bit. You put it in again. Just not that up train all. You ever met the trainers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, Glenn's Glenn's moved from jockeys to trainers. Um, like that. Now, did you think you were in deja vu there? Do you remember the last Saturday meeting at Warwick Farm? It was it was January the seventh. The first race was single bullet and radiant thing and getting bloused by D Payne Coles Coleslaw. Coles Coles, whatever it is, Colesburg. Yeah. Right. And then the second race we saw Hieronymus just c control the race like you've never seen a race <coughs> controlled, and it was carbon copy. Um, six, yeah. exactly six months later. Same track and distance. I, I, I read an article. What are the boys on at the, the moment? Huey and uh, Evda. Are they like 78 and a half? And yeah, seven they're one and a half, but, uh, but yeah, there's one and a half between them. Right? They, they, uh, they get Bowman eight rides, Bowman seven rides, Abdullah eight rides, this and there. It's 440, 332, 20, 446 rides, eight mm. rides. Fucking so, Hieronymus. He, he never gets a ride. He's on 20 winners. He's on 19 winners. He, he, he gets one ride occasionally. He's just an over. So you want to you want to have a look at that, dude? You want to have a look at uh, horses under eight dollars with jockeys because we can I'm do just, that. I'm just saying that, yeah. that, that, that the two leading blokes fighting for life. I've got four mm. times as many winners as the kid who doesn't get a ride. Yeah, I know. So let's look, well, let's do the figures and we can work. Yeah. That so uh, we'll ask Paul to do the figures. Yeah. I got Paul to do some D D Endor figures, which we'll talk about in part oh, two. Right. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was um, he just he was never ever going to lose our bites. Hmm? No, no, just that's pretty control. impressive. And, you know, really Cosmic shocked. Engine, he, he, he what are you saying, controlled Glenn? things there the other day. Um, yeah, just reading the text. Sorry, guys, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, cosmic, cosmic Engine. engine. <laughs> he prayed well, but, you know, like... Uh, is that it? I, I is, is that where it is? Is he reached his level? I think reckon? he has reached yeah. his level a little bit. Yeah, I just can't see anything in that race, other than the winner who is, you know, he makes races for himself. Well... Um, the, the country the country race, well, we saw the, um, the, the sun craze get crazed again. Um, never, ever... It's funny, he's been beaten a nose and he was never going to win. It's funny, he was never going to win, but, like, um, yeah, you think prior to jumping, geez, a little bit under the odds. Yes, he got beat, but he wasn't under the odds. Uh, I unfortunately... But that's his racing pattern, isn't it? So he should never be too short. But he was, like, he, he, was, hand, he was handy okay. to the pace. Like he was in dead set midfield at Newcastle. Oh, yeah. He would have won, won, won that race four times out of five. And this this time he got beat. Oh, okay. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but he like he jumped out like a slug. He raced like the back of the field like a slug. He didn't he didn't show any sprightliness at any stage. You know there was no there were no no dynamism about this. You want this to take a real short price about a horse. You want it to be sitting in the first four. Yeah, I like, think that, that, that you know that, that that's the lesson. <coughs> you know the pointy end of the market will provide you with most of your winners, but you've got to be mindful mm. of racing your racing position. style. Racing position. Yeah, you've got to get past nine horses. Yeah. You know, they can't all be Chautauquas. Mm. And even Chautauqua, like last time we won a race, he was like $18. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They bet 800 or one at the 200. Mm. Um, they're banning the Car Canberra horses from the highway as from... Um, Why is that? Um, well, um, I don't know. Um, I think that's unfair. I think they should let them in. Anything to do with the turnover tax? Then? I don't know. Does the ACT pay the Racing New South Wales same turnover tax that's gone up? ACT what? Bookies? As a state, as a territory. Oh, you mean the tab? The ACT is a tab? Well, it's just different rates. Is there a little bit behind the scenes of got the shitties with each other? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But there's, but there's, uh, watch this space. There's more to be said about that. That was a particularly terrible what, what highway. That one. Said it just quickly. Um, <clears> I thought Michaela Weir, who you just like did said like twelve months ago, like wow, she was weak and ordinary. She looked really strong, most of the bit like a little bit lately. And she's um, you know, all of a sudden they just improved really quickly. Yeah. Under here, I think. I think she's on the right way now, Michael. So great ride. Um, Kings of Leon. Um, oh, he... I love to see a girl outright brown. <laughs> <laughs> Kings of Leon, he was just dynamite, guys. Well, it's funny, because you watched his run at Wyong and you went, wow, that was a great run. And he, he appears in a perfect <laughs> race at Warwick Farm there on a Saturday. And I go back and I have a look at his last city run, and it's in that uh, pound sterling maiden at Warwick Farm when I took nine to two about him or something. And he's, you know, it was on a wet track, I suppose. But... It's just uh, lurking around. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the contrast between what I thought his credentials were and what his underlying credentials were just sh scared the shit out of me. 
uh, where he's spending to win found a race where he was always going to be vulnerable. He was there was just too much pace underneath him for him. You know, he just he 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 was just going to be softened. It was a good run by Spending the Wind. It was a good run, I wasn't it? I think there's two decent horses there, both the first and second. Gord asked me about Spending the Wind. I said, look, you know, nowhere near his top. And, you, know, mm. you know, I said, can you beat the field by three lengths? Because you need to beat the field by three lengths at your best to win this race. And Gord said, yeah. maybe you can. And yeah. kind of all that talking there was kind of spot on. Yeah, it found, Does just that make found, sense? Yeah, found, just found one. Um, Parlever oh. returned there and got up the inside, seemingly unfavourably. Pox on the race? Probably. Mm. Box, on the, box on the program, really. Yeah, so it's just a winner program. Right? It is, it is. Launch Code uh, had some time off, uh, turned up for Chris Lee's, um, oh, got out and then came back in. Uh, Glenn rode him forward. What, what do we make of him? Oh, I, I, you know, I didn't, like the, uh, I didn't like the way the betting went on that horse. I thought there could be a little bit of... There was a stink. Yeah, there was mm. a stink. Not by Glenn, that one. Um, H Bowman just rounded them up on Leopari, which... You know, T. Barry tried to cut cut the corner and get up underneath them, which was going to make well, the just, difference, wasn't it? He, he, he's just what he is, Leopard. He's just honest and, and horse in this race. Up Mile. Defense, gold ambition, races away, like the old batters. Well, it's funny because I, I like said you. on the show a few weeks ago, <coughs> gee, I like the way gold ambition pinged the lids there first up. Mm. And then he was on down on the inside there second up uh, at Randwick when you had to be wide. And so third up at the mile, here's your chance. But... We should have known better because we did see him at he, Bathurst. He's a horse with a very, very... I, I can't forget it. He's like, got a very, very bad chink. We can't say the horse is a poof or a mm -mm. wee or anything like that because TQ's already sent me an email. How unhappy she is about that. Okay. So from now on, yes. horses will have chinks. Chinks? OK, we're going to have to come up with alternative uh, yeah, we're getting very phrases, catchphrases, aren't we? She's our yeah. number one viewer. And <laughs> we, need to, we need to keep her on board to keep her happy. What about so, cat? Are we allowed to say cat? The horse is no, a cat? No, cat's a bit poofish. <laughs> A chink. Yeah, okay, a chink. Um, She'll appreciate that. Well, isn't that racist? <laughs> what? Uh, a slug. Can we say that? It is oh, a we're slug. Not a slug. It is a slug. <laughs> but that doesn't really describe a horse that puts itself in the race and looks like it's going to win the race. That's not yeah. a slug. It's got massive mental issues with finding the line. Um, it had the race completely won at the time. I know, I know. It had it, had it, had it by the... And our punters need to know. They do. Uh, Old North, is, is there anything for Old North? It, it would appear that... He was a J Mac horse, that, um, yet another of those J Mac horses. it will never be seen again. He's got a chin. Uh, and then one for the battlers, Glenn, Isa Rich, uh, which oh, what I, a horse. What I a managed horse. to tip on 2SM. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, the trouble is, it's one of those horses that pays $11 on the tote, and you go, like, I took 23 on Friday. Yeah. And yeah, I know what you mean. I, I know. It, it, you know, it's back to 22 on the fair at I'm, the death. I'm in the little yeah. punters club thing. You've got no idea. We put, there's 10 of us in the pub. We've got $25 in a week. It's 250 Like, honestly, we've put in 6000 this year. We're up to about 12000 collects. They're the best judges in the world. <laughs> and it's all 25 each way. And that's tote a tote. Odds, tote oh, odds in New South wow. Wales. And I just sit there going, we are winning 90% on turnover. Have a look at these <laughs> fucking blokes. And I just go home and I cry. Yeah. Yes. I just cry. But they, they're all their bets. I've had 25 each. I paid $11.10. I looked at 31s on course. Yeah. yeah. Just mm. pun, get involved with punters clubs, guys, because when you get a collective <coughs> group of people, you, you do well. Mm, the I, teamwork. Teamwork. You know, I'd set them, well, this is my thing. I've got all the form, all the prices. I've got man and I've got 50 customers to look after. I've got a business to run. I've got to concentrate on back in things for me to win 5,000. And all I care about is my text for the punters club on what our <laughs> yeah, $25, what yeah. what the bets are. Because what? I just, you know what the last two bets were? 25 each way, Isa Rich, 25 each way, Nat King Koo. Oh, wow. He collected mm. 900 of the bloke, mm. and that was tabloids. And you just go, how do they fucking do it? Mm. And these are fucking... And he's excited. He's excited. He's excited. Does oh, he get... I'm excited. Can, we're going to have about 30,000 in the year in the Pundits Club on this scale. That's three, I've got Christmas paid for. <laughs> I've just got to make sure I keep up paying for the week. Yeah. 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 I've had one go so far. And you went for the quaddy all up, quaddy the quaddy all, all up. up the the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, toss it out the front with me. Finish yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, said, I'll show these blokes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that's a segue into your way, which was ranked uh, failure in the, in the penultimate. Is well, what, What's the story there? Seven. She went in there with seven from nine, she got. She walked around. Yeah. Mm. She wasn't in the top three numbers. Did I put her for fourth just about the comment that she's like, no. Yeah, no. I think you did. Yeah. And... Uh, she clip clopped around the ring, and, and if you got my stuff, you couldn't have been possibly be on it. Uh, she ran exactly up to how she paraded, and I don't know where to for her. So it's she had a speedy cut, whatever, speedy cut, whatever that means. But it's one of those with like, 
that had the good win stats, but you just thought really well done by Bjorn, not that the horse has a lot well, of ability. The horse race that you know? day, went a big Kadira, uh, and yeah. if you remember, that horse mm. was out the back beating 30 lengths of <laughs> the race. Um, yeah, that went to Bogger and won. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your oh. like? Lofties. Lofties oh, Lofties menu, yeah. So you didn't yeah, even yeah. participate, right. so it won a three horse race. Right. Yeah. And you look back and you go, oh, ooh. Mm. And then a couple of Canterbury on the buns. Mm. Is it all full? So he's done well. What does it all mean? What does Beyond's it all mean? Well. And then we had a, like a Warwick Farm Classic, the last, where Rachel Murray rode a perfect race on a fit horse. Um, thank, God for my, thank God for crossing him because I took 20 And Mounting Yard Mail. Had it seconds. And you Mounting Yard Mail screamed home. I just screamed home after a particularly disappointing day. I mean, really. You yeah, might have had something to manipulate. Was, yeah, I, I, I didn't end out the park, that's for sure, but it, I struggled. But Petrosian saved the day. I was able to breathe through Sunday and not have to walk. Talk um, about screaming, eh? Me and Yeah, well, he's, prep, he's, he's, um, yeah. He's, he's, he's a talented horse, isn't he, Emanui? I'm a Nui. He's a very talented mm. horse. Guys, we've got to wrap up here. We've got to yep. get part two. Indeed. Right. See you soon. <laughs>